Good morning. Today is the 2nd of June, um, 2020, and it's time for my early morning walk and exercise with Gypsy. Welcome back along. And it's another beautiful day. Um, we've been having some really nice weather. It's officially the second day of summer. I've checked the weather forecast today, and for the next nine days after today, it's going to be bad. It's going to be wet and it's going to be cold. Ugh. Well, like I said earlier, the weather's starting to change. Uh, the sky's going black, uh, it's still quite warm, but for the next nine days, according to the iPhone app, we're looking at rain. So I'm not sure what videos I'll be able to do. Um, I doubt I'll be able to get any drone videos. Uh, I'll be lucky if I get anywhere to do any vlogs. So we'll see what happens if I'm just doing update vlogs, um, that's that's all I have to do. Uh, it, it could be three and four days made it to one video, I'm not sure, we, we'll have to see. So before the bad weather actually gets here, which is pretty soon we're looking at, the, at that sky, um, I'm going to try and take you down to somewhere, I've never, another place I've never walked around, which is the Rising Sun Country Country Park and Walks, I think it's called, in Long Benton, Newcastle. So that's where we're heading now, uh, and I'll see you when we get there. Something amazing just happened. Thank you, every one of you. I've just hit my 100 subscribers. I'm absolutely over the moon. Thank you very much, everyone who subscribed. Please stay with me. Um, like I've just said, I don't know what sort of content I'm going to put out over the next week because of the weather, but thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you again. Next milestone, 1,000. Sorry about the road noise. Here's the entrance. All hand carved. So here we are at the, the country park. First time I've ever been here, no idea what to expect. So yeah, let's just keep walking. Seems to be lots of different walkways, it's like a big maze. Um, some are quite wide like this one, and long. And then you have some which go through the woods this way. I just noticed there's a pond over this way, so we'll have a look. So this is an education dipping pond apparently, so I'm guessing they must fetch kids down here, um, put the nets in here and see what bugs and insects and things like that they can get out. It's a pretty cool area. So I moved off that central walkway, which seems, I think it's a central one, it seems to be a wide, um, well looked after sort of path, and I've moved off into one that goes into the woods, which seems less sort of look after. Um, it's not gravelled. Look. Uh, I think it's leading me towards a lake. So, yeah, I can see it over here. Look at this. This looks like a hide. So you can look at the, the birds and things. If you're a twitcher with you. Binoculars. I was hoping to fly the drone, but looking at them birds over there, they'll take it out the sky um, and attack it. Apart from that, it's a nature reserve, so don't think I'm really allowed to fly a drone over a nature reserve. As much as I would like. So even this area, which is off that main path, is still quite accessible. Um, it's, not, it's not hard going, it's not rough terrain really. It just looks nicer. I mean, look, this crazy tree. 
What on earth made it grow like that? And then the one next bit's the same. Look. In fact, they're all a bit bent. Crazy trees. So yeah, I've no idea where I'm walking. I'm just walking around. I'm not following any particular trail. So I don't know where they end up. I don't know where they go. Uh, so yeah. All good fun. So like I was saying, there's all different areas. So obviously we had the nature reserve with the, the pond and the birds and what have you. Um, this bit is the wildflower meadow. So there's not many wildflowers actually blooming at the minute. There is a few. But yeah, that's that bit. And off these main ro ro roads, paths, there's all these smaller ones, whether they're official ones or unofficial ones, but they still seem pretty accessible. And of course, lots of seating areas, as you would expect. So this is a lot bigger than I thought. That was only one part of one part of the, uh, the country park, which is that section all down there. I only took you into a small section of that section. Uh, the country park goes further this way. Uh, the way I came in was from down that way on a path and I walked up to there and then down here. But there's a visitor center, so a visitor's center over there. A blah, 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 blah can't speak uh, and I'm not sure how far it goes past the visit centre too but it's massive I've just checked YouTube <laughs> I can't believe this I've got 105 subscribers unbelievable I'm so over the moon thank you to each and every one of you from the bottom of my heart um, onwards and upwards let's get to a thousand eh so this is where I've took you this is where we are now Went down here. Um, I cut across somewhere. No, went down here. Cut across here. Went down there. We walked up here, back around, and there. So as you can see, there's still quite a lot of the part. I didn't go up here, and then I went up here. There's so much more to this place. We had to come back sometime and try and do this area all these ponds. <laughs> well, it looks like we just made it because here comes the rain. Knew it was coming. Well, rain's been. Um, it's going to rain the next few days, like I said. So now, anyhow, gym time.